Shelby, I'm Caitlin. <laughs> and I'm Jenna. And we are no therapy because she's our closest friend. So close that we even call her a sister. So we decided to give Sarah a break and not tell any embarrassing stories about her. So you're welcome. Um, but that's just because we were involved in all of those stories, so that's embarrassing for us. But we are going to tell the story about how Sarah met Mike. So, starting in advance. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't there, so I'm going to let Jenna tell the story. Um, but anyone that knows Sarah knows that she has a heart of gold and is a fun loving spirit, but she's very unpredictable. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, Sarah and Mike met at the Heart of Adams, which was the PNA. <laughs> for her friends, she thought that her, her dance moves were top notch. She wanted, to, she wanted to dance her way right on over to us. Sarah dancing quickly turned into her slipping and falling on the middle of the dance floor. Luckily, I don't think that mattered to Mike, or he just never knew that that happened. But you can just say that that was the night that they truly both fell for each other. <laughs> Join me in raising their glass. I'd like to make a quick toast. I just my glass <laughs> by sharing the quotes. There are my As you both sit side by side for this roller coaster of life, remember to raise the seat, go dance like this, laugh for a loop, and enjoy every twist and turn because the ride is always better together. Separately to our amazing people, but together you are. Right, thank you ladies. You want to welcome up to that microphone now our left hand, Mr. Mitchell Brissett. Of course, let's 
not afraid to think who some would say are the most important part of the city. The bartenders. <laughs> I'd officially like to welcome Sarah to our, our family. Hello. <laughs> 